Hello everyone, this is Hillbilly Heath with another Great Eastern Cutlery knife to show you. Uh, unfortunately, I've only got one of this model. Uh, it's it's kind of small and uh, I don't particularly uh, like this small of a knife, but uh, if you wanted, wanted a little knife just to stick in your, in your watch pocket, it'd be a good size for sure. Um, and since I've only got this one knife, I was wanting to try to do a combination type video as to why I like this blade style so much. But uh, to show you my the Great Eastern Cutlery, the DEC knife I got, this is the number 25 in Chi Chin Rosewood. This is in the uh, Northfield trim. Uh, this one came out in 2015. Let's just see that beautiful rosewood there. Uh, it's got the line and pinched bolsters, as you can see. And you got your easy opening in the back with a long pull as well. And sheep's foot blade. But a nice small uh, little little knife that easily fit in a watch pocket. Let you hear that walk and talk. It's actually got a strong pull for a smaller knife. I guess that's why they got that easy opening. But a nice, nice pocketable size for sure. But uh, what I really want to talk about in this video was this sheep's foot blade and why I like it so much. As you can see, I got a couple other knives up here. To, kind of demonstrate what I'm talking about uh, you know I got my number 15 crown lifter huckleberry boys knife you know this is a knife that I carry regularly and uh, really handy at, for at work my job but the the sheep's foot blade is very good for EDC tasks you got this point It'll focus. Come on. Let me try this. There we go. Very fine point that you can poke into a package, pull, cut. Uh, but and it's a stout point. You know the Warncliffe, you know, uh, blade has a you know fine point too, but they're a little, a little more fragile tip. Uh, with these, you get a, more, a little more strength at the tip uh, and that's just something that appeals to me I'm always afraid I'm gonna break the tip on a worn cliff this not so much um, you know these aren't the best uh, food prep blade designs for sure uh, but for me for you know most EDC tasks I mean really what do most of us do with our pocket knives. We open packages, we open mail, uh, we might slice, slice on something. Uh, but, I mean, the, the main things we do is, you know, opening boxes, cutting cardboard, uh, cutting tape. And this, this blade design just works very, really well for that. There's a reason why they make utility blades the way they do. This is an old crappy one that I found in the junk drawer. And as you can see, the blade shape is basically the same. Because when they started making these utility blades, 
they realized that that shape was the best for opening packages, for cutting cardboard, for, you know, that type of stuff. And, uh, you know, even with my modern knives, here's a steel wheel modus. Uh, you know, this is kind of the more modern sheep's foot style. Uh, it's not a true sheep's foot because it's not straight edge, but I mean, you got some belly in it, but the tip is basically the same. And it's, uh, you know, it works pretty well too. This is a steel wheel modus in D2 steel, blue and orange. But if you like the looks of this one, I highly recommend these knives. They're uh, pretty uh, budget friendly and D2 steel. And they have a nice flipping action for sure. Not quite fall shetty, but pretty smooth. And my Spyderco representation of the sheep's foot blade is the Spidey Chef. Awesome, awesome knife. A lot more expensive, but uh, great slicer. Uh, now it's said that the sheep's foot blade wasn't a good uh, food prep knife this is the exception to the rule <laughs> because this is an excellent food chef uh, food preparation knife that's why they call it the spidey chef uh, but it you know basically a sheep's foot style blade with with belly instead of the straight uh, this one's great for cutting down on like a cutting board because of the way the handle is. See how it kind of forces your hand up and then you can get all this. You can almost reach back to the very end of the blade so you can get a good rocking motion. But um, you know, titanium and LC200N steel that uh, it's basically rust proof and smooth as silk. Great knife. I love carrying this knife. Deep carry pocket clip. Really thin. Great slicer, like I said. But, uh, you know, th that's too uh, kind of modern sheep's foot blades. I'll leave you out here. More modern style. But, uh, really, for me, the, the, the more traditional, you know, straight sheep's foot blades. Uh, or just a little more useful. Uh, the tip's a little finer and just seems to be able to do a little more, a little more work. Of course, these have their place. You know, like I said, both of these are better, you know, food prep type blades, but uh, I just kind of like this more traditional sheep's foot. But there they are. That's the number 25 Great Eastern Cutlery. And the reason why I love the sheep's foot blade. So you got a two for one. <laughs> I'd like to wish everyone a, have a great day. I'll uh, maybe put out a couple more videos today or record a couple more anyway and uh, if you like you like these uh, videos on Great Eastern Cutlery or maybe you'd like to see a video about the Spidey Chef or the Modus or some other modern knife that I might happen to have uh, you know comment like uh, follow me on Instagram everyone have a great day see you next time